In this video, I'm gonna show you how to write flow entries to multiple tables and work out how many tables are available on a switch and show you what happens when you try and write a flow entry to a table that doesn't exist. In this example, I've got a Zodiac FX connected to an HPE Van Estian controller. At the moment, you can see that the Zodiac FX is connected. If I click on summary, you can see the manufacturer and the hardware version. On the actual switch, typing help shows me various commands available and different modes. I'm going to go to open flow mode or context and type show status. At the moment, you can see that the Zodiac FX is connected to a controller using OpenFlow 1.3, and it has a single table with a single flow currently configured. Help once again shows me that I can use the show flows command, and I'll be able to see the flows on the switch. At the moment, there is a single flow, flow one, with an instruction to send the traffic to the controller. The hard timeout is zero, and the idle timeout is zero. We can see that on the controller by going to flows, and we can see that this is a table miss with a priority of zero matching everything, basically sending all traffic to the controller. On this controller, I've also got FlowMaker Deluxe installed, and what I wanna show you is how to add flows to different tables on the switch. Now, back on OpenFlow Monitor, clicking on Summary, we can see the number of tables available on the switch. Notice 10 tables are available. At the moment, however, there's only a single table configured. Now this often causes confusion. Who determines the number of tables available on a switch? Typically that's the hardware of the switch. So on a northbound network switch, by default, currently 10 tables are available. So I could, as an example, add a flow using FlowMaker Deluxe to table zero saying that any traffic coming in on port one is gonna be dropped. So I'll set the apply action to no action and then click add. So notice the flow entry has been written. I'll just make this a bit bigger to make it clearer. So notice flow entry has been written to table zero. Back on the switch, previously we only had one flow. Type show flows now. I have two flows, flow one, and flow two. Flow two has an instruction of drop. So the flow has been written to table zero with a priority of 100. Any traffic coming in on port one will be matched according to this flow entry, which takes priority over this flow entry because it has a higher priority. So within an open flow table, and I'll show you that using open flow monitor, within an open flow table, the higher the priority the more likely that your traffic is gonna be matched by that flow entry. So priority 100 takes precedence over priority zero. Back on FlowMaker Deluxe, I could add another flow entry to table zero with a priority of 200, matching port one once again, and I'll set the traffic to be dropped. So this flow entry takes precedence over this flow entry, which takes precedence over this flow entry. The higher the priority within a flow table, the more likely that that flow entry will be matched. However, you can also add flow entries to additional tables. Now in an open flow pipeline, the matching always starts at table zero. And then if there's a go to statement, it goes to subsequent tables. So as an example, table one traffic will only be matched if traffic is sent to table one using a go to statement. At the moment, the traffic is not being sent to that table, but what I want you to see is that I can write flow entries to table zero and table one. I could, as an example, also write flow entries to table nine. I could have written the same flow entry to table zero, table one, table two, table three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this flow entry has also been accepted by the switch. However, if I try and write a flow entry to table 10, let's see what happens now. 
So same kind of flow entry and click add, notice we get an error. And that's because once again, this switch only supports 10 tables, zero to nine. If I try and add a flow entry to table 10, it's not gonna be accepted by the switch because only tables zero to nine are valid. So in this video, I showed you how to create flow entries and write them to different tables and showed you what happens when you try and write a flow entry to a table that does not exist on the switch. In a subsequent video, I'll show you how multiple tables affect the OpenFlow pipeline. Thank you.